Welcome back to the channel, guys. Some of you may recognize this car right here. I'll give you a front view anyway. Oh, hold on. I don't know, but I've been told maybe it's easier for some of you to recognize it from this view. The tail lights. But yeah, we're going to show you what's going on a little bit in the shop today. Just having a little fun stirring the pot there. So let's get at it. Everybody's favorite part, swapping oil pump gears. That was Mark and Melro. Good old boundaries. We use them quite a bit. So far, they've done really good. All the coyote swaps. Out with the old, in with the new. Scientist here. It just makes your pressure go up there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I guess we're going to do the old uh, drop the gear, see what it does. Old old pump gear. Yep, that one didn't. didn't crack it anywhere. Yep. Right, let's see it right there. Got it right there, pull it apart again. That's all it took. <laughs> Everybody's favorite part. We know how to get it all back in there. Pump oh, gears are swapped. New injectors in. You got the fuel system running, you still got to put the pump in, right? Mm -hmm. Pump still got to go in? Yeah. Okay. Actually, yeah, there it is. Ha. Little whipple coyote. Little pump gears, pulley swap, retune. Stick shift car? Even better. Yeah, we might get uh, get Robbie to talk to us a little bit about uh, dig or die. Let us know how the weekend went for him. All right, everybody's favorite part. You gotta love that little boat. Mad scientist got the new pump in, line fitted. away for 10 minutes come back get this thing back together get this thing ready to get on the dyno time to see if uh, what we can figure out on this one If the other side checks out, then it should be yeah. something in the gear. Or... Ah. You got resistance, don't I guess we'll check the other one. That's good. It's fine. Goes up the stove. Yeah, well, that's fine. I guess we'll check the other side. <coughs> Got 
gotta love shim packs. <laughs> What you find in there, June? See right there where it's pit. Really? I'm going to try to zoom in when you move your hand. Hope it'll show up good on camera. Let me get a little bit closer and try to. Give them the inside on that. A little wire. Yeah. Just a little bit. More than we like to see. But it's been through a lot of passes and a lot of clutch dumps. Get the other one on here. Turn up where we can see a little better again instead of. Yeah, I believe we're better off there. Either way, give them a better view of it. There you go. All right, since we got the rear end tore apart there now, seen what we needed to see, time to get the new stuff back in it. And for the next part of this video here, guys, uh, it's going to get Robbie to talk about uh, his uh, digger die this past weekend at Rockingham. For you familiar of that, you know that's like the Super Bowl of drag racing for a lot of us, so... But it was a little different this weekend for him. He, uh, instead of actually racing, he actually got to do a little different experience. And um, he got to do some actual track tuning for a customer's car. And first time uh, he had ever, uh, the customer, Leo, I'm going to try to catch up with him and talk to him about it too and see what he thinks about his first experience. But he got to go down there tune the truck to the track and you know they they told me when they left they said look if we, if we just get past the first round we'll be happy first time on the track doing it for leo so good job leo and the whole crew uh what is it tim tim Capus calls it now tailgate mafia but either way congratulations to uh leo he went made it to round three before he got knocked out so uh really proud of him uh proud of robbie the whole crew uh, like I said, it was a different experience for him. So, uh, yeah, I'm uh, going to show a couple. Yeah, I'll just I'll put all of his videos in here of his passes he made. And uh, I think his truck's going to be a contender. coyote that they were doing the work on getting finished up it's back together running uh should be on a dyno 
Uh, hopefully tomorrow. I may or may not be able to catch it. Hopefully I do. Uh, can't uh, give away everything all the time. But guys, let us know what you think. Catch you on the next one.